centuries that I did a vlog but yeah that's a story for another day so I'm going for an event and I thought why don't I carry you guys along so this event is called um, plant and sip and yes I was invited by Diana Aquimis and yes I think I'm going to meet Pinel there at the event so yeah it's going to be fun you know <laughs> but anyways talking about my outfits nothing that serious I'm going to show you guys what I look like when I get there so of which never happened yeah peace yeah fingers crossed <laughs> anyways um if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do want to hit that red subscribe button and on the bell icon which says all so you get notified whenever i upload new videos and yeah let's get going it was a beautiful saturday evening hanging out with diana and Pello. we didn't know what was next but let's not spoil the story yet let's just watch yeah, yeah. hi So as we go on with the story, we arrived at the venue, but unfortunately, the event was rescheduled. Hmm, no update, no info whatsoever. This kept me wondering, and immediately my morale dropped. I just shall consult myself. Ah ah, na na ja we day now. <laughs> Things of this nature happens. Anyways, so we decided they gave us a bonus by checking out their culture mix. Guess what, guys? This place is absolutely beautiful. Just relax and chill. Have a look. is a place for creativity and i guess that's why it's called creative hub they have a farm mall of which you're going to see and a natural hair salon wow that's cool just have a look took amazing pictures aren't we so cute anyways let's not get emotional just feed your eyes with those lovely damsels we are currently at um, garden city amusement park so i do not know what this place will be like hope it's going to be fun as expected Aina made a statement which says, if life gives you a lemon, you make a lemonade, of which we did. So we came to Garden City Amusement Park and yeah, it was nice, but just wait for it. Oh. Everything was going fine, not until Diana put iron panel into this flying monster where my acrophobic nature surfaced. <laughs> this was actually one of the most traumatic moments in my life like i felt like losing it guys i guess i was more than 30 feet high and up the sky you can actually say that i'm exaggerating but anyways i couldn't just help myself i didn't expect such heights like one eternity later
I guess it all makes sense right now because if life were to be predictable, it would cease to be life and be without flavor. Mm, hope that sounds right. Anyways, I did enjoy myself. Like I had fun with Dinah and Panel. Like it was just so mad. Like I would want to do this again. <laughs> Well, going home, I had a lot on my mind. The height, the shock. It seemed like I was having a fight within myself. I shouldn't have screamed out so loud. I should have just faced my fear. But the truth is that we all have our fears and most times we tend to shy away from them. But the thing is that you cannot fear that which you fear. You cannot run away from it. They always come right to your face. And the only remedy to it is for each and every one of us to confront our own fears because how we handle our fears will determine where we go with the rest of our lives to experience adventure or to be limited by the fear of it judy bloom what is your fear and how have you confronted it Daddy!